Hi and welcome to the Essential Lightroom video. In this quick tip I want to answer a question that was recently asked on one of my videos on the YouTube channel by Dana Gray and that was can you actually add presets to multiple images without having to open them up inside the develop module. So Dana, yes you can and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. Okay, so I've got Lightroom open and I've got a range of images and I'm in the catalog module. So what I'm going to do first of all is select the images that I want to apply this particular preset to. Now they don't need to be sequential images. You can easily click on one, hold the control or the command key down and select any range of images you want. So now we've got those images selected. If we take a look on the right hand side, you'll see we've got the option for quick develop. Now the quick develop allows us to do a range of different things. We can apply tonal control to it, white balance, but we can also apply a saved preset. So all we need to do is click on this, come down and choose any of the presets that we want. So let's just say, for example, I'll go to the teal and orange toolkit and I'm there, I'm just going to say I'll apply the teal and orange 1990. Click on there. That will now apply that to every one of those images. If I want to go in and add any of the modifiers, I can do that quite easily by going back at the TNO toolkit. And I could say, let's just for, say, for example, I want to apply the soft focus glow or the mid-tone cut or the mid-tone boost, whatever I want. I can apply another one to that. And you can see now the images, all of those images reflect those changes you just made. So that's the easy way to apply presets to multiple images without needing to open up the develop module. Well, Dana, I hope that's answered your question. And if you or anyone else has any other questions or tips you'd like covered on the channel, please pop those in the comments section. I'll take a look at creating short videos to cover those in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content that we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.